Hello guys, uh, this is 355 in the bluegrass. We're back again in bluegrass CB shop. Just uh, kind of chilling. We're gonna, uh, I'm doing a little, uh, what I'm doing right now is I bought this power supply and I bought it in the sense that I thought it was gonna be a 100 amp supply and it wasn't, it was a 50, 55 amp supply. I didn't read the fine print, but I like it and I think I'm gonna keep it. So. What I'm doing today is I'm going to show you, I was worried about the voltage output on it. That's what I wanted. It was supposed to be a, a staged output and uh, it actually is a variable output, which is what I wanted to see. So we're going to, I'm going to hook the test leads up to it and we are going to see what she actually does. And, uh, I want to, uh, it's kind of hard to do with one hand, but uh, I'm going to get it done here. Tighten that one up. We'll loosen that one up. Shit far. We dropped one. Happens, happens, happens. Here we go. So there's no uh, tomfoolery or trickery here. See my meter is not even on. Leads running straight to where they're going. So this is a Power Max PM355 LK. For the money, I think it's probably well worth the purchase. But uh, we're going to see. I'm going to see if it'll run my three pill. Being as it has two 40 amp fuses in it, I think it's probably actually about a 70 amp supply. So it's a switcher. We're going to see what it's going to do. Let's see here. Kick the meter on. Right now it's showing 13.10. I'm all the way on the lowest setting of this meter. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the screwdriver. See, I'm still on 13.10. I'll take this. Try to get the glare out of it. We're going to go up to the top end of it here. See if I can get all of it in here. See, we can go all the way up to 16.51. And we can go all the way down to, oh, 13.1. So, it is a good supply. We're gonna see if it'll hold up under, uh, under pressure tomorrow. I'm gonna hook, uh, I don't have a, uh, an amp tester here but I'm gonna try to hook up a uh, I've got a linear that I'm gonna hook up to it and see if it will hold the uh, hold the actual pressure this is just like I said it's just like a consumer FYI video it's not anything special but you know for the money this thing cost $145 some of these ones that are bought, you, you, that are built, that you buy nowadays are extremely expensive. You can buy this thing for 145 bucks and it's not, it's not that bad. I mean, if it'll run my three pill, or I mean, I know it'll run a two pill without a question, but, uh, and uh, the voltage wise, being able to run it up and down is amazing, so. That's what I wanted. I wanted to be able to go up to at least 15.5. And be, being as it goes up to 16.5, we're, we're really hitting it. So, I mean, it is it's it is what it is, but uh, we're gonna see how it does. And uh, I'm trying to get the shop together. I've got a lot of stuff that I'm working on. Uh, 
I'm going to start making more and more videos as it goes on, but we're just, uh, we're doing what we can right now. I mean, I'm trying to get everything together, get it put back together, and uh, it's hard when you, when you have to move. I mean, I've moved twice in the last two years, so that's what's killing me. But uh, anyway, we'll get it back together. We'll get going, uh, get the shop cleaned up, and uh, back in business. So this is just a little FYI for you guys. Hope it helps. And tomorrow we'll do a load test on it and see how it holds up with a, a 2879 driving two 2879 Toshibas. Uh, it's going to be a true three pill test. See if it'll hold it. If it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm saying it's probably not going to, but we're going to see. If it does, we'll see. Anyway, y'all have a good night. Thanks.